Hi, uh, I'm here to talk about how you can do fine-grained authorization with open source. Who am I? I'm Abel Matthew. I'm a software developer. I am very passionate about community and writing. I'm involved in communities like Azure Ambassador Program, Google Cloud Champion Innovators. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about me. So let's start with the scenario to understand what we are trying to do over here. We all work for organizations, and our orgs want to manage budgets. How do we do that when, let's say, an org has multiple nested departments? To give context, a small example would be something similar to this, wherein your organization has multiple divisions, like product, legal, finance. Product underneath may have product engineering, product design, and product engineering underneath may have product engineering Bangalore, Amsterdam. Um, to give context, at least in my firm, this nesting is at least seven levels deep, and a lot of companies have multiple nested departments like this. What we want to do over here is to manage budget for departments like uh, Engineering Bangalore, and the people who manage the budget are people who manage multiple departments at once. We want to do access control so that they have access to just the resources they, they want to and not to someone else's financials. It's possible to write it using our own code, but what we want to leverage here is a tool which is able to do it out of the box. That's where OpenFGA comes. OpenFGA is a CNCF sandbox project at the moment, which is based on Google Zanzibar uh, research paper on which the Google's authorization model is completely built upon. So the idea is you have relation to an object, and if you are related to the object, you have access to the object. So in the above context, the way it would work to give very small summary is that uh, the node that I'm mentioning here are the divisions. So a node can have a manager, uh, a relation manager, or a node can have a parent which could be a node itself. So a department can have a department as a parent, very similar to how we saw in the diagram. So if you see line six, what I'm trying to say here is that a manager can be assigned at a department level or it can be managed from the parent level itself. And this actually is the DSL language accepted by OpenFGA, which can be directly converted to a JSON, which the SDK supports. So this is not just pseudocode. The playground supports converting this directly to JSON, which is easily understandable. So using just this much, and assuming this hierarchy, wherein which I showed previously, which is product, underneath has product engineering, and which underneath has product engineering Bangalore. And let's say we have budget 2023 for a particular department. This is all the data that we have. And Jane is a manager for, let's say, the department product. Using this, so given Jane is manager for product, and underneath product comes product engineering, and underneath engineering comes product engineering Bangalore, I, if I'm Jane, I would have access to budget 2023. So with using just this much, without writing any additional code whatsoever, I'm able to understand that the relation between if user Jane is a manager for the department or if user Jane has access to the budget can be easily managed. So using just these entities, I'm able to know this without actually having to write additional code. If a new department comes uh, underneath product, I don't need to configure additional accesses. If a department moves, let's say, from engineering to, let's say, design, uh, for whatsoever reasons, which happens during reorganizations, I do not need to rewrite large chunks of code. All I need to modify is very small bits in the authorization model. And this is exactly what OpenFGA does. Uh, to give context, which is for later, uh, if you want to add, let's say, a location constraint, wherein I am a depart I work in a department which is in, let's say, in Bangalore, I want to access just budgets of Bangalore. The only thing that I would need to do is just few lines of change in the actual authorization model, which would look like the highlighted parts, wherein uh, a location can have employees, and I have defined that a manager uh, requires to be an employee from the location. That's all that is required. Once I do this, even if I've got access to, let's say, the node product, I will not be able to manage it if the location does not match. All of this is done as part of the authorization model, and this ensures that you are able to scale it independently. And this reflection, once you make changes to the authorization model, is immediate. So that's pretty much about the project. It's a CNCF sandbox project. If you want to meet the amazing developers who maintain it, they would be at the KubeCon venue. Uh, there is a booth there. Feel free to connect with them. And that's about me. Feel free to connect with me if you want the slides. You can DM me. And that's pretty much about me. Thank you. Have a fun week.